for me, no? that made Gogoro attractive in the Philippines. Of course, number one is part of the swapping. We all know that a lot of our riders in the Philippines, customers for two wheelers, do not own their own homes. So how do you plug in your vehicle? How do you plug in your vehicle when you go into a fast food joint or go shopping and so on and so forth when today we can't even plug in some of our phones or laptops, they stop us from doing it, right? So, you know, the most convenient way of doing it is is using the swapping system because you can always get a fresh battery when you encounter a swapping station like we have seen this happen in Taiwan many times. And second is the smartness of the system. The system just, you know, just basically um, relates to how Globe does business, digital. Right? We can monitor a lot of the things going on with the bike through the battery, or even if we decide to put the bike online, which is possible as well. Um, you know, it is a very intelligent system. And once you have data about the riding habits of the consumer or the rider itself, there's many more things we can do with it. You know, just like we've done in GCash. You know, where we use the data to power our lending business, you know, which is now growing and becoming very successful. In the telco, we power the usage data as well to uh, enable our marketing to be able to target the customers much better. So data is another one being the smartness of the, uh, the devices as well as the charging stations. So why does Globe have the unfair advantage? You know, Globe is a, I would say, master at changing people's habits. You know, we brought people the smartphone into this country back in 2010, 2012. You know, back then people said, I don't need a smartphone. My, my call it SMS phone really works well. But today, no one can live without their smartphone. Right? We brought streaming video into this country. You know, single-handedly eliminating video piracy in the country. And then follow that through with eliminating music piracy through Spotify. Right? Netflix and Spotify were our launch partners for those two. So we've been changing the habits. The product that somebody told me, or many people told me they don't need, today has 80 million accounts, Gcash. Right? When I was evangelizing Gcash in its early day, people said, I don't need that, I have a credit card and I have cash. Today, people tell me, how could I have lived without Gcash all these years? And how will I live without it if it goes down? So here we are again, right? You know, bringing another innovation to the public. Something today that they do not think they need yet. Yeah? Because they haven't experienced it yet. But you know, one of the things that I like about this product when I first saw it in 2015, is I'm not really an avid two-wheeler rider. I'm more into the four-wheel type of vehicles. But it was something I wanted to buy when I saw it. I didn't even need it, you know, but to me, if it's that compelling, it must be good, right? And so, you know, um, with all the patience and everything in the world between Horace and myself, it's been an eight-year journey, seven and a half to be exact, getting here, but I'm just so glad we are here today. Right? So, that's really all. I've seen execute to digitizing cities and for citizens better than Ernest and his team have done. I believe together we can form a great partnership to greatly influence and improve upon what the you know what the situation today with the commute, with the pollution, with the traffic congestion, and just the overall uneasiness of getting to one place to another. So I think it's really a condition of you know the the fact that the the Filipino doesn't have a solution today, and that we have a great partner working together to actually execute this. But last but not least, I really see Filipino government really taking a kind of more proactive initiative to electrify it. Just yesterday, today, yesterday we were catching up over dinner, that I was really happy to learn that you know in four wheel parking, five percent is mandated that five percent of all parking location has to have a charge pole by a certain time. This is a great momentum in which we see people going electrifying. And, you know, yes, four wheels for some, but two wheel can be for the masses. And so we are really excited to be here to help and work together with Globe to really realize a vision that perhaps, you know, has not been realized in the Philippines before.
Thank you. So, you know, there's a lot of um, advantages of going electric. But as Ernest just said, most of the Filipinos that actually would consider using a two-wheeler don't really own their home. And when it comes to the safety or the convenience of refueling, having a battery swapping system to support going electric while the electric vehicle also have additional features such as digital security or digital safety enable us to take leaps and bounds to offer better user experience, better safety, and better security than any ICE vehicle can have. A lot of the customers today won't consider an ICE vehicle because one, is very polluting, number two, is very hot, number three, is very noisy, and it's just overall not a great user experience. So for us, we really focus on the great user experience of owning such a two-wheeler, and hopefully, we can actually deliver that user experience and make a real big impact in everyday Filipinos' lives. Thank you very much. It's going to be amazingly affordable. How about that? <laughs> we love you. Thank you so much. That would be great for all the Filipinos. Thank you. We have actually two different energy sources. We have the traditional coal and fossil fuel generated energy, which is about 70%, 80% of what Taiwan energy is today. And then we have the more sustainable generation of energy. But if you, even if you count with that much coal and fossil and natural gas generating energy, there is of course transmission loss and other that goes all the way to the station. Our vehicles still emit a little bit you know, of, of, of CO2. If you compare to where we are today, we're about 5% of what an ICE vehicle would do. So we save 95% of the CO2 from emitting into the air. But of course, we try strive our best to take advantage of sustainable energy as much as we can. So today in Taiwan, we have, for example, several station that is supplemented with solar power. We have also a retail store along with several stations at the retail store that is 100% subscribed to sustainable energy. Now, of course, with Ayala's investment into solar energy and sustainable energy being the largest in the region, we look forward to the day that we can actually raise our hand and Ernest and I can stand up and say, that station is using nothing but sustainable energy. That would be the ultimate goal. Now, when it comes to the ownership of swapping, Taiwan gas price, on average, even with the big saturation and, and, and success with in Taiwan, the gas price in Taiwan, on average per liter, is about 85 cents to 90 cents US dollar per liter. In the Philippines, it's $1.30 or so, $1.35 per liter. So we believe we can make a great contribution to actually not only providing a better solution, but overall a more affordable, more a solution that actually makes sense. Including not only the fueling, the refueling, but also the ease of the time you save, as well as you know the fact that it doesn't require much maintenance because it's an electric vehicle. All of that adds up to be a great user experience. And that's the direction we're all working to. Thank you, Morris. It covers the immediate central of this district. That's about seven. We will expand to cover the entire of Metro Manila in numbers that are sufficient to serve all of the customers that we will acquire by the end of the year. Sir Last, will there be colors like best but Definitely. <laughs> Enjoy the colors. Thank you very much. Okay, so a purpose-driven company. One that aims to uplift the daily lives of the Filipinos. You know, we started with GCash, you know, and again, you know, none of this took overnight or in one year or two years. GCash is a 15-year journey to get here, which came happening beginning 2016. You know, consult the MD, which aims to solve, is very difficult to go back to, right? Into, you know, using back to the ICE unconnected vehicle. The intelligence that these vehicles have, as Horace mentioned, it knows when it's raining. You know, and it'll, it'll fine-tune the, uh, the drive control to be able to help you with skidding and so on. There's many, many things. And I can assure you that customer experience will be much better. And of course, it also ties in with GLOBE's sustainability efforts. 
You know, with the guidance of Ayala, as you can tell, we've always wanted and we've committed now to bring and use technology and digital to bring about more sustainable type of operations here in the Philippines. More effective, more efficient transportation is very key. You can see the pollution that has been happening in this country. You can see the difference between holidays and not. The difference between a pandemic, when we saw clear skies, we actually saw mountains and stars, didn't we? Right, during that time. And today, you know, we hope that with these scooters, with the batteries, with the smart technology, we'll be able to help a globe, you know, come to zero emissions that we've committed by the year 2050.